Hi everyone and welcome back to Dr. Dave's 411. Okay, I know, you've heard it a million times. Doctor walks into the room, looks at a patient's blood cholesterol numbers and says, Mr. Smith, your cholesterol is high. You need to watch your dietary cholesterol. But is this true? Does the cholesterol you consume in your diet really make a difference in your blood cholesterol levels? All of this and more on Dr. Dave's 411. Oh, and by the way, where can you get heart healthy food recipes along with videos that are both educational, current, and full of amazing jokes? That is correct, my website. Simply type in drdavedegatti.com and let the learning begin. Okay, first things first, let's make this very clear. High blood cholesterol levels are known as a risk factor for heart disease. With that being said, people have been told that the dietary cholesterol in foods raises blood cholesterol levels and causes heart disease. But is this true? No. <laughs> he, he, he looks surprised. In fact, the cholesterol level in our blood is mostly determined by genetics. Our bodies produce much higher levels of cholesterol than we can ever eat. So avoiding foods high in cholesterol is not likely to have a large effect. Remember, 85% of the cholesterol in the circulation is produced by our liver. Our body actually needs cholesterol to carry out many different functions, like producing hormones, cell membrane function, and vitamin D but we don't want too much, but rather just enough. When the amount of cholesterol in our diet changes, our body has an amazing ability to regulate how much cholesterol it produces. Now that makes sense. That makes sense. Remember, our bodies are programmed to maintain a sense of balance. Typically, when our dietary intake of cholesterol goes down, our body makes more cholesterol. When we eat foods with large amounts of cholesterol, our body will make less cholesterol. Because of this, foods high in dietary cholesterol have very few impact on blood cholesterol levels in most people because the body will initially adapt to the levels. Scientific research has supported this idea of dietary cholesterol not having a significant adverse effect on our blood cholesterol levels. In fact, Reports from the Framingham Heart Study have shown that dietary cholesterol is not related to either blood cholesterol or heart disease deaths. There are some people called hyper-responders who will have an increase in blood cholesterol from dietary intake, but studies have shown that this does not necessarily translate into higher rates of heart disease. So what is the primary driving force for cholesterol synthesis? When it comes to diet, we should avoid trans fats and refined carbohydrates. What about saturated fats? Avoiding saturated fats is less clear and might not be as important as we initially thought. But the more we learn about the horrible, highly processed Western diet, the more we realize that one of the most important drivers of cholesterol synthesis by the liver is insulin, also known as the fat hormone. Studies have shown that when we eat refined carbohydrates or sugars, like bread or pasta, our body will secrete insulin and promote both fat storage and cholesterol synthesis. So eating a refined carbohydrate will likely have more adverse effects than eating a cholesterol-rich food, such as a whole egg or sardines. One food group I want to mention specifically are eggs. A lot of research and controversy have surrounded the concept of eggs and blood cholesterol. Well, eggs were once the villain, and now they're seen as a great protein source. Well, if you like eggs, this is some good news. You may not have to shy away from them anymore. Is eating eggs healthy for you? In fact, this is an egg extremely, extremely confusing issue. Eggs are a significant source of dietary cholesterol, but several studies have shown that eating them is not associated with an elevated risk of heart disease. One group of people who do need to be careful with eggs are diabetics and those with coronary artery disease. Some studies have shown an increase in the risk of heart disease in people with diabetes who consume eggs. Now remember, 
I'm not saying you should go out and load up on high cholesterol foods, but rather we should include them in a well-balanced diet. We should definitely try to limit our refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, pasta, potatoes, and rice. So to summarize, high blood cholesterol levels are clearly contributors to the development of atherosclerosis and heart disease. Dietary cholesterol has little to no effect on blood cholesterol levels in most people. More importantly, there is no significant link between the cholesterol you eat and your risk of heart disease. Okay everyone, there you have it, the 411 on dietary cholesterol and heart disease. Who wants to hear a famous Dr. Dave joke? A patient asked her cosmetic surgeon before her procedure, Doctor, will the surgery hurt me? The surgeon replied, only when you get my bill. What is the opposite of urine? You're out. Okay, everyone. See you on my website, drdavedegatti.com. Leave me a comment, send me a pic. Hey, how about sending me your best joke? Who knows, maybe I'll use it on one of my videos. Until next time, I'll stick with cardiology. This is Dr. Dave.